In this video, learn how to manage risks in the software development lifecycle SDLC and secure your project. The most critical risks should be addressed first to minimize the adverse effect on the project's time, budget and quality. Mitigation strategies can outline steps for responding to various scenarios to prepare you to handle any challenges during the project. Here are some different types of mitigation strategies. By monitoring progress regularly, you can assess how strategies are working and make adjustments if necessary. By entering progress regularly, teams can review how well strategies have worked and learn from past experiences for future software engineering initiatives. Set aside a budget for additional resources, training team members, or using software outsourcing services for additional support. Now let's have a look at the types of risks in the software development lifecycle. Technical risks. Project risks. Technical risks include Performance risks, security risks, integration risks. Project risks include Scope risks, resource risks, communication risks. Identify all the technical challenges, budget constraints, lack of resources, and timeline challenges. The identified risks should be assessed to evaluate their likelihood of occurring. Develop mitigation strategies, it includes developing a backup plan, obtaining additional resources, outsourcing work, or adjusting timelines. Monitor and report risks, regular monitoring and reporting of risks help you in better decision making and tracking the success of mitigation strategies. Monitoring and control, regular reviews ensure that processes are followed. Value Coders provides product development services like Product ideation and consulting UI slash UX design MVP development SaaS development QA and testing Migration and modernization Digital transformation and more Discuss your project, schedule a free demo today